Hi, Ari. Fact number one, transgender is not a disease. This is not my opinion. This is facts from the World Health Organization and the American Psychologists Association. Just like don't, gay people don't have a disease. Fact number two, okay, it's not rich true. kids stay rich, poor kids stay poor. It's not true. Out of one, out of 1,800 billionaires in the world, 12 of them are black. Where you come from, where you grow up, how much your parents earn, whether your parents are were married, plays a major role in determining yeah, I know where it is your their life market. Fact number three, number I would just like to remind question. you that hate speech is not free speech. Yes, it is. And my they question is, is, since facts don't care about your feelings, why did you use false facts? Okay, so none of the facts that I used are false. First of all, yes. Uh, no, okay, first of all, uh, would you like the answer? Okay, so the, first, so the three facts you mentioned, you talk about transgenderism. First of all, until five minutes ago, the DSM specifically defined transgenderism as a disorder. It defined it as gender identity disorder, now calls it gender dysmorphia, which doesn't even make sense. It says that depression is the actual problem, not the actual gender disorder, which again does not explain why the transgender suicide rate is upward of 40%, and the actual suicide rate for the rest of the American population is lower than 3%. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you talked about income inequality, and you suggested that all wealth is inherited. This is nonsense. According to, according to the IRS statistics, if you are born into the bottom 20% of wage earners in the United States, you will not be one of the bottom 20% of wage earners in the United States. 90% of people will not be within 15 years. There's tremendous wage mobility in the United States of America. Plus, there is not a group of people who just sit at the very top and stay there. People move up and down, in and out of the 1%. 1% just defines the line of income. It doesn't define the people who are in that 1% of income. I've been in the 1%. I've been out of the 1%. It will happen to lots of people. People who are older tend to be more likely to be in the 1%. They weren't once in the 1%. What happened? Okay, so that's number two. Number three, you say hate speech is not free speech. It depends how you define hate speech. The only speech that is not free speech is speech that overtly defends or pushes violence. Specifically, speech that is, that is generating violence, right? That's the only type of speech that's not hate speech. If I say things you don't like, that's not hate speech. And if you think that, that it is hate speech, you're a fascist. End of story.